Peggy 18. Hey, I'm Zach Cooper, your Splinter Cell community developer. In this Calm Dev video, we'll be putting away the gadgets and weapons for the most part and diving into the visuals. This is the art direction of Splinter Cell Blacklist. We hope you enjoy. Through the lens is basically the glue that holds the art direction for Splinter Cell Blacklist together. In practice, what that is, is that there's a camera uh, in the world, in our game space, lens flares, uh, we're talking about atmosphere on the lens, we're talking about things that spray on the lens, say when it's raining and things like that. So we try to have a, a sort of condition for this through the lens for, for anything that you might see or feel throughout the game. Light and shadow, meat and potatoes, for Splinter Cell, uh, you know, it, it lives everywhere in our game, it lives in our history, it lives actually in the gameplay in the fact that Sam, when he's hiding in the shadows, is undetected and he's, uh, he's got an advantage over his enemies when it comes to that kind of thing. So, so for us, um, the next step really was, especially after having a history of very, very uh, excellent lighting in Splinter Cell games, we want to take a step farther. That, that light became an object in the world. It, it wasn't just something that made things look good and cast my shadows. Light became something in itself. It, it's an actor, it's, it's a player in that space, and for us it's an object in the world. When you look at the light, uh, not only do you see the light, you see the source of the light, and you see how that light plays on you uh, as a player, watching your character, through a camera. This stuff is all manual for us, right? This, this stuff isn't you know, procedurally generated, it's not automatic. You know, we pick our spots um, and, and we have to apply it. And we, we need to make sure that everything is, uh, is covered, right? So, you know, how does it look when you look at the sun versus how does it look when you look at the moon versus how does it look at when you look at an artificial light? And then there's many different kinds of artificial lights. And we wanted to make sure that each and every one had kind of a soul. A big motto for our creative director was Sam's back. When it came to um, us designing his, his suits and, and, and really his anatomy and, and his physique, we, we really wanted to, to sell the fact that he is not superhuman. He is, he, he is more the everyman, but with an unbelievable amount of uh, skill behind it, which meant that he was uh, sleek, he was fast, he was very quick. Uh, the silhouette, uh, as you might have seen in Chaos 3, I think, was really, uh, you know, the icon, and, and we kind of really went back to the roots of it. 